So yes, we're back on the rooftop. Again. You're welcome. I always enjoy these little strolls. Alright, so we actually only have a few minutes left to get back over to Isabella, as you can see from the little scoop timer up in the upper right hand corner. And she's in the North Plaza, which means we're going to take that shortcut again and, you know, face kick a black guy. Does anyone else think it's weird that the black guys in Hawaiian shirts are the only guys with knives in the mall? Well, he's a zombie guy. It doesn't matter what color he is. We already established this with Resident Evil 5. No, that's not what I'm saying regardless. Only the zombie black guys have knives in the mall. Uh, there's plenty of creepy Tengu guys with knives to make up for it. Yeah, but they don't actually drop the knives. Like, physically... Oh, that's just something. Well, whatever. Physically, the only guys who drop knives in the mall are those one random type of black guy. It's very odd. It's not racist. Okay. It's not. Whatever you say. It's not. Don't try to turn this back on me. Racist. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I know, I know. Excuse it however you want, bitch. I said nothing. You know, it was just supposed it's to be all an observation. You. All you. Although I did kind of make that Asian joke earlier. I know. I know, I know. It's okay. I'll, call you the hate. I'll, I'll take the hate. <laughs> I'm totally okay with it. It's okay, though. I thrive off hate. Um, yeah. So, anyways, here we are, back a little bit later. You can see that the fancy schmancy moving sidewalk thingies have now shut down because the uh, mall's closed. And, and when the mall closes, you'll notice lights go off, things like that. Uh, escalators and side moving sidewalks turn off, the music stops, and zombies get harder, so that's a bonus. Um... This section's pretty much the same as we saw last time, except for one extra bonus, a fucking motorcycle. And we can do sweet-ass jumps like this. It's actually an achievement if you get a good enough distance for that jump. I can't believe Otis is calling you while you're on the motorcycle. I can't believe you can actually pick up the phone while he's on the motorcycle. Hang up and drive, Frank! Yeah, probably a good idea. This is why that's illegal. <laughs> this is why you never see anyone in real life <laughs> with a motorcycle and a cell phone. <laughs> Even in a zombie apocalypse, using a cell phone see? while driving is a bad idea. Seriously, zombie land, buckle up. Rule number three. Or four. One more, make sure. <laughs> Double tap. I love how they always seem to use this particular zombie in the cutscenes. <laughs> you know, I never noticed. Yeah, I think it's the exact same zombie they used from the uh, cutscene when the park where they all turned into evil or glowy eye zombies. Anyway, um, you're supposed to save Isabella here. Um, you can't really melee him, and you can't actually lose the case right now if you don't fucking do something fast. So, uh, thank God for this. Thank God for nail guns. Were you bitten? No. It was Carlito. I tried to talk him into coming, but it was no good. He, he doesn't trust anyone. He shot you? He didn't mean to. He shot at he me. fell down some he stairs. Was upset. I got in the bullet's way. Walked into a doorway with a sharp object on it. I don't know what he'll do next. Uh. Hey. Uh. Hey. Guns don't kill people. Carlito kills people. I like how Frank gets mad when you have to carry her, but I'm pretty certain we've been carrying people the entire time. Saving. God damn it, I get it. It's saving. Jesus. No, we don't want to keep playing. Isabella! Isabella! I'm so sorry. I never meant to shoot you. Just shoot at you. Please, 
That is not the best way to make an apology. I love that guy who's like, hey, I'm still alive! <laughs> yeah, I probably could have saved him, but, um, fuck him. <laughs> the end. So, yeah, uh, theoretically, I could have gone back and saved him. I just really didn't want to, per se. Because, uh, one, I've already done enough escorting in this video. I didn't want to have to speed up another part, and I know I would have to, because there'd be a lot of management of the survivor, and that really just sucks. Plus, I also wanted to make sure that, like, loudspeaker section there, where, you know, Carlito was talking to Isabella could be heard. So, plus, minuses, I'm not going for a sane achievement, who cares. Although you're doing a great job avoiding all the zombies, I guess it's a good idea to just stick to the edge all the time. Yeah, I actually tend to stick to the edges. Um, it doesn't really matter, though, because I have Isabella, and that's essentially god mode in this game, if you haven't noticed. Uh, watch, for example, I'll go through these zombies, and pretty much none of them will even get a hit on me. Like, you can even go through really thick packs, like right here in the center. Oh. And, yeah, nothing. It's really hard for them to actually hit you. <laughs> That's hilarious. But what if we try to attack him while he's carrying someone? Uh. Yeah, don't bother. It's way too difficult. So. Uh. Yeah, yeah. What? But wait, if we kill them both, we get double the brains. Brains! Brains! <laughs> brains. Yeah, I'm tired. I can already tell. Holy crap. Me too. Mm -hmm. There's another good example of it right there where I just kind of push them aside. Actually, we'll have the ultimate example here in a second. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta put you down to pick up the phone, lady. And of course, it's Otis to tell me stuff I already know. Yeah, there's guys in masks. Fantastic, Otis. You're the biggest help ever. Anyway, that will actually activate the A Strange Group uh, scoop which is basically you dealing with the cults. Fantastic. Nice of Otis to, you know, continue being really annoying. Well, otherwise, he wouldn't be Otis. That is true. Anyways, this is what I was talking about. Watch how easy it is to move through a crowded elevator with someone on your back. And just push the button. Bing. Done. Yeah, that's... wow. So there is also another nice bonus about Isabella. You actually don't have to get her to go up that goddamn fucking step. All you have to do is uh, just walk her right to it and it's over. Which is great. Really, that should be all it takes for everyone else. For serious and for true. Who is that? Is she hurt? Yeah. You're looking at the bad guy's sister. Bad guy? The one who caused all this? That's right. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak. His sister? What in the hell is going on here? I mean, does this have anything to do with that announcement earlier? I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? But he shot her, I can tell you that. And just so you know, that would be the same guy that shot you. What's he after? What's his ultimate goal? I don't know. But according to her, his plan isn't over. Not yet. Dun dun dun. Fine. Consider her in DHS custody. We'll question her when she wakes up. So, yeah. Tits! Yay! Tits are great. Does she have... Does Ashley or whatever her name is have any other use than looking dejected? No. Well, I guess she does sometimes touch her glasses and bend over so you can see her cans. Ah. That is pretty much it, though. For the especially lonely gamer. For almost every <sighs> gamer. Well, not us. We have girlfriends. Right. Alright. I don't know about you, but I'm done. Game over. Alright, take care. Have a good one, everyone.